Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over. We have new rumours for Pokemon Legends ZA. We have some pretty big Nintendo Switch 2 rumours to take a look at as well. New Scarlet and Violet events have been announced. There's a lot of stuff to break down and get into today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's quickly go over the new Scarlet and Violet event that was just announced. Obviously, the 7-star Charizard raid has now finished uh, and we are back to these subpar kind of raids. And hopefully the one after this is going to be something good, whether it's a starter or a legendary. But either way, these are the latest raids for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So, we've got Cerebi here tweeting out saying, Cerebi update. The next Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Terror Raid Battle event has been announced. Focuses on Brute Bonnet for Pokemon Scarlet and Iron Hands for Pokemon Violet. Runs from the 22nd of March through to the 24th of March. So obviously that is uh, this weekend. So nothing crazy there. Pretty subpar raid. As I said, we're only really bothered about... We're only really bothered about legendary raids now. Like, the starters aren't as good. I mean, it's nice to get the mighty mark on them and stuff. And it was good for the Kanto stars because they could drop Herba Mystica. But apart from that... You know, like, I don't think many people are going to be doing this, really, unless there's, like, boosted Herba Mystica. I feel like the only way people are going to be doing these raids now if there are boosted Herbas and stuff, because most people have, like, enough XP candy, enough ability stuff, everything like that. So, yeah, I think they're going to still do these every week, but we're only going to be bothered about, like, the legendary ones and stuff. They need to do, like, a legend... Like, they need to do a legendary one, really. Like, we did the Mewtwo one. That was a really good event. They need to do, like, a Rayquaza or, you know... Uh, Yveltal or Xerneas or Zygarde or something like that. I mean, they're not even in the game, so they would be even better to do um, and kind of like incorporate them into the game as well. But anyway, that's the Scarlet and Violet event. Talked about that way too much already because there's literally just nothing really about this event. Moving on, we do have some Nintendo Switch 2 rumors to take a look at. Um, so again, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know how YouTube would know the name of the next console, but this is what has been popping up lately. Like, this isn't just for this person is posted up for it's been popping up for a lot of different people. Uh, we have Luigi's sidekick here tweeting out saying, so I found a YouTube survey that may have leaked the name for the Nintendo Switch 2, and it's called the Switch Attach. So this was the question that just said, which of these gaming products would you consider buying? So it says the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, which of course are the latest gens for Microsoft and Sony. However, it then goes on to say the Switch Attach, and then it says none of the above. Now, I don't personally like the name the Switch Attach. Obviously, it doesn't matter if I like it or not, whether they're going to use it or not, we're not sure. But I just don't understand how YouTube would know what the Switch 2 is going to be called. Like, the Switch Attach just doesn't sound great. I could see it being called that, but I think the Switch 2 is just fine. Like, they just call it the Nintendo Switch 2. I think that would just be a lot better. And just do what PlayStation have done, where they just literally go up in numbers. But... It, it could be the Switch Attach, um, but yeah, very, very interesting. This has just popped up. We also have, obviously, more information about this. I should have probably specified to take this with a massive grain of salt. Since these surveys aren't 100% reliable, it could be just a code name. Uh, the name could be Nintendo Attach and not Switch Attach, or it's fake. I just thought it was interesting enough to talk about. Uh, and then we also have some posts on Reddit as well. So this was posted by Roxy. People on Reddit have discovered this a couple of days ago, it seems. But according to the replies, YouTube using fake brand names for surveys is a thing they just do sometimes. So the Nintendo Switch console uh, may be called the Switch Attach. It definitely sounds like a possible name for the next Switch console. And my Google search didn't find any apparent uses of the term Switch Attach, including any fake console mock-ups or incidental pairings of the two words. Yeah, I know that, but there's been times it's been correct, so I don't know. I don't actually think it's legit, but I just thought it uh, was interesting um, uh, enough to point out. So, like I say, th this isn't a faked image. You know, this is actually a questionnaire that's been popping up for multiple people online. It's just whether YouTube have made up the name or it is actually a thing. Like, they've been, apparently been correct in the past. I don't know when they have been correct in the past. I don't know if it's about consoles or just, like, games or something like that that they've accidentally leaked. But uh, either way, it's just food for thought. Like I say, the image is not fake. Like, it, it's been popping up for a lot of people. It's just whether they've, like, just randomly made this name up or not. So, yeah, the Switch Attach potentially could be the name of the Nintendo Switch 2. 
We're just not sure, though. Uh, speaking of the Nintendo Switch 2, though, we do actually have a big rumor regarding the next Animal Crossing game. Now, I know that we're a Pokemon channel, uh, but I do like covering things for the Nintendo Switch 2 because this is obviously going to be one of the big games for the Nintendo Switch 2. And a lot of people like Animal Crossing as well. Um, but either way, this was tweeted out by Nash Weedle saying, Leak Express, the next Animal Crossing is in development and will be an ultimate version of... So the game concepts, you can move around controlling vehicles, so you can now pass your driver's license uh, or your driver's test in uh, Animal Crossing. Large city with skyscrapers, so it doesn't look like we're going to have an island, it's actually going to be like a massive city this time. Uh, there's adventure missions, puzzles and mini games, and then more collaborative multiplayer as well. The date is 2026 along with a series plus info. So yeah, apparently it's going to be like a massive change up of Animal Crossing, the biggest one we've ever had, massive multiplayer additions, adventure missions, puzzles, mini games, a large city with skyscrapers. Uh, and then also we have uh, plus info. Some of these concepts are discarded from the last game. So new monetary system within the game, larger shopping center where you can have your own store and sell your designs to other users, which would be sick. You can literally run your own shop. I'm assuming it's just like a massive online hub or something and you can set up a shop and then you can sell your designs to other people, which would be really, really cool. That'd be such a cool kind of concept. So furniture store, clothing store, vehicle workshop, etc. And then more info, separate city completely online to interact with connected users. So you can do mini games, vehicle races, cake throwing, celebrate birthdays, mouse hunting. This is the basis from what we started in a creative brainstorming prior to the start of development. So this is apparently like Nash Weedle does have a decent track record to be fair you know it's not someone that's just like making up stuff it's not like a random 4chan post or anything like that like this is legitimately um somebody that's got a lot of stuff right in the past so you know if you're an animal crossing fan i, I would you know obviously still tamper your like expectations but this sounds fantastic this would be a huge game uh, for animal crossing and i feel like it just keep the replayability of it alive as well if there's like a massive online hub so yeah, I really like the idea of this. I really hope it's true. I mean, I love Animal Crossing anyway. This would be like Animal Crossing 2.0, you know, Animal Crossing 2 Electric Boogaloo. This would be fantastic. I love the ideas. Uh, it just It's just everything that we want in an, in an Animal Crossing game, really. So let me know your thoughts on that. Would you like to see it if you are an Animal Crossing fan? Obviously, if you're not, then fair enough. Let's move on to the Legends EA stuff, which is probably more of the reason you clicked on this video. So we have this post here by Mercedes Mons who's found another kind of connection to uh, potential Synchro in Pokemon Legends EA. And again, I still think there is going to be potentially some sort of Synchro kind of situation with Legends EA, because in the original trailer, in the teaser trailer, should I say, we do follow Pikachu, so that could be like a form of Synchro. And as well as that, we got Synchro in Scarlet and Violet. Maybe it was like a test run for Legends EA. Uh, but anyway, it says, playing hashtag Pokemon Y and looking for anything that stands out in Lumio City at Sycamore's lab. Intriguing words from one of the scientists there. Fighting completely in sync with my Pokemon gives me chills. So yeah, this is what they said. So yeah, oh, fighting completely in sync with my favorite Pokemon gives me chills. So again, that could be another reference to um, obviously the, the sync kind of um, sync machine or whatever in Pokemon Legends EA. Not only that, we also in X and Y had somebody else talking literally about like controlling your Pokemon with like technology or something like that, which was also referencing uh the, the the sync the sinking pair thing as well so there's been a lot of references in x and y to this so i, I and again like say you follow pikachu in the trailer as well you know you, you follow it through like lumio so i think we potentially could have it and i think it'd be a really cool thing to as well maybe we have it in every pokemon game from now on you know i think a lot of people really enjoyed the synchro machine um and i think that they've seen the feedback and like okay yeah people do like this Let's just implement it into every Pokemon game because they've already got the technology and stuff. So I would really like to see the Synchro Machine popping up in like multiple uh, Pokemon games. But it very well could pop up in Pokemon Legends EA. Uh, moving on, we also have um, this quickly to go over as well. This was posted by Yoridan. So massive shout out to them for finding this connection too. Uh, this is all about uh, potential World Fair Japan Paris connections, stuff like that. So we have Yoridan here tweeting out saying, So with Pokemon Legends EA releasing in the same year as Japan, is hosting the next World Fair. I think maybe it's notable that there was a World Fair in Paris in 1867 during the renovation of Paris. And obviously, what are we renovating? Lumio City. So this was posted saying, the exposition 
uh, Universal of 1867, so better known in English as the 1867 Paris Exposition, was a world fair held in Paris, France from the 1st of April to the 3rd of November 1867. It was the second of 10 major expositions held in the city between 1855 and 1937. A number of nations were represented at the fair. Following a decree of Emperor Napoleon III, the exposition was prepared as early as 1864, in the midst of the renovation of Paris, making the culmination of the Second French Empire. Visited, uh, visitors included uh, Tsar Alexander II of Russia, a brother of the King William, and Otto uh, von Bismarck of Pr uh, Prussia, Prince uh, Metin I don't want to get these names wrong, but th these are all the different people from different countries that kind of uh, came out to Paris uh, for the World Fair and stuff. So it's very interesting that they obviously hosted this World Fair. Uh, Japan's hosting the World Fair, should I say, the same year uh, that obviously the World Fair was in Paris in 1867. So it could have something to do with that. And then one impressive feature of which was this uh, aquarium would be cool if ZA had one. So this was a massive aquarium that was at the World Fair. There's images of it and stuff like that. It looks really cool. Like this looks like a place you would find Pokemon. Like it looks very much like cave-like, obviously being an aquarium as well. There could be really cool water types as well. So yeah, th this would be a really cool kind of extra thing they could add into Pokemon Legends ZA. Um, which would be obviously hinted at from the World Fair of Paris. This was also one of the first aquariums in the world, so that's pretty significant. The first public aquarium opened at the London Zoo in 1853, so the renovation of Paris is just generally a good time period for highlighting aquarium features. Like I say, I still think we're going to have, like, time travel in this game. I think we're going to go to the past. I think we're going to go to the future. And so in the past, we could have these kind of... Like, they don't even have to think about what's going to be in the past. They can literally just take inspiration from what actually was in Paris during this time. So they can use things like this. They can use things, um, that, like I say, like the World Fair and stuff like that for like the past and then the future. They can also do whatever they want because it's the future. So and like I say, I, th I still think the Synchro Machine is also going to play a huge part as well. So massive shout out to Yoridan and Mercedes for finding like these two little kind of connections and stuff and, and other things that we could be seeing in Pokemon Legends ZA. Uh, so that's all that. Let's finish today's video off with a good old 4chan rumor. Uh, this was posted on the 11th of March, so a week ago um, today. And again, it was posted on 4chan, as always. Take it with a massive grain of salt. You don't know if they're going to be true or not. Most of the time they're not, but I still have to. Literally, I can't believe the amount of comments that think that I'm like saying that these are leaks when I'm just, I, I literally say it five times a video. It's a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. You know, no, it's not confirmed. It's not technically wrong yet until we get information, but... My lord, this is not a leak. This is a rumor. I can't believe how many times I have to get that across. But either way, this is the rumor. So it says Pokemon Legends EA, both a prequel and a sequel to X and Y. So this is kind of following the idea that there is going to be time travel in this game and it is going to send us to the past and the future, which would be sick. I might like the Obviously, Legends Arceus is a prequel to uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Legends EA is a prequel to X and Y, but it could also be a sequel as well. But then I guess if they do a sequel in the future, it would just have to be... I guess if they do a remake in the future, they just wouldn't be able to do it in the future because they would have already done it, but it'd just have to be a remaster of X and Y. But anyway, apparently it's a sequel and a prequel to the Generation 6 games. You start off in the present day, so it takes place after X and Y, which is where the hub of uh, the city of Lumios is. So it takes a little bit, of, I'm assuming a little bit of time after X and Y, um, and yeah, you start off there and maybe something's happen with, happening with Lumios. Um, where you have to like renovate or maybe you have to go back in time to renovate. We don't know which time period you have to renovate the city in. Uh, but either way, that's apparently where you start off. And then it says, you continuously travel to the past where Lumios is a wide open and vast wilderness and complete missions. Like the, the way I see it as well is like, I know I'm just kind of going over into my own kind of headcanon here, but like maybe the whole Legends Arceus um, battle style and like um, agile style and strong style and stuff like that, maybe that's only in the past. You know, maybe we have, which would be kind of crazy, we have different gameplay mechanics depending on where we are in the kind of timeline. So when we go back in time, we have Agile and Strong Style, Pokemon Attack You, it's Legends Arceus catching, everything like that. And then we go to the future and it's like normal battles. So we have trainer battles, we have catching Pokemon normally in the wild, we have um, you like civilization, like where Pokemon don't attack you and stuff like that. That would be insane. You'd have the best of both worlds. So if you don't like Legends Arceus, you can chill in the future. If you do like Legends Arceus, you can chill in the past. You know, it'd have bet like you wouldn't be able to complain about the that game because it would have literally everything. I don't think they'll do that, but that would be sick. 
Uh, anyway, they go on to say, as you continue going to the past and changing events, the city in the future changes. So that's a really cool idea as well. I, I do like the idea that things that you do in the past actually alternate the city. It'd be cool if everybody's city was different as well. Like maybe... Uh, you get like a choice in the past, like maybe whether you go this way or whether you go this way or whether you join this team or this team or whatever. Um, and then if you join this team, the city looks different. If you join this team, the city looks different. It'd be sick because then also every time you play the th through the game, your Lumio city would look different as well. I don't think that'll be the case because Pokemon for some reason don't do those kind of things, but it would be really, really cool. Uh, and then goes on to say, ultimately you unlock Zygarde and go back in time to stop the firing of the ultimate weapon. Um, which is fair enough. I mean, there is obviously a lot of history based on this ultimate weapon with Kalos. And then it says, this has ramifications for Mega Evolution in the series moving forward in a way that I won't spoil. So I don't know if that means like Mega Evolution is going to be in present in future games or something like that. I don't think that Generation 10 will have Mega Evolution. I still think it's going to be Fusion. I think that's going to be the gimmick. Um, there's been a lot of hints towards Fusion recently in, in the most recent games, but... Yeah, I don't really know what this ramification would have for Mega Evolution. We'd have to wait and see. Uh, Primal Xerneas and Primal Yveltal are a thing. I'd expect to see something like that, whether it's Primals or Origin Forms or something like that. I am expecting you, uh, Xerneas and Yveltal to get some sort of form in Pokemon Legends ZA. Just like Origin Dialga, Origin Palkia. We've got Primal Kyogre, Primal Groudon. You know, I'd like to see something like that. I don't think Zygarde will get a form because we've already got so many forms of Zygarde. But I do think we'll get something for Xerneas and Yveltal. The starter Pokemon are Snivy, Torchic, and Piplup, but they have regional forms. So, yeah, th they are like the likeliest options as the starters, especially if they don't get Mega forms. Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, Torchic can't be the starter because it's got Mega Evolution already. Like, there's no guarantee that the starters get Mega Evolutions. Maybe they just get regional forms, just like they did in Legends Arceus. And, you know, Torchic is the national, like, the rooster is a national animal of France. So that makes sense. Piplup, obviously, Napoleon, Napoleon. And then Snivy also has, like, a lot of French connections as well. So th these are the three that make the most sense. There's just, like, people are fixated on the fact that there's already a Mega Blaziken. But, you know, it might just get a form. You know, you, we, it doesn't have to get Mega Evolution. And instead, as they go on to say, Chessman, Fennekin, Froakie lines get Mega Evolutions. Maybe it's a situation when we pick one of these starters and then we go through the game a little bit and we get one of the Generation 6 starters and they can Mega Evolve, just like we got in Pokemon X and Y. You know, you pick one of the Generation 6 starters and then when you make it to Lumios, you pick one of the Kanto starters and they have a Mega Evolution. It could be the same situation here. Um, like, these could be the starters and then these could be the Mega Pokemon we get. And as well as that, the same we get along with 11 other Pokemon lines as well. So that'd be 11, 12, 13, 14 new Mega Evolutions, which I could see as the amount like 14 is quite a decent number for new mega evolutions um with a few forms there as well thrown in i don't know if there'll be any new pokemon there might be like a new legendary or something um but you know if we get the starters getting forms we get like the legendaries getting forms and we get 14 mega evolutions i'd be very happy with that uh still no mega flygon though unfortunately and there are also paradox forms and cross-gen evolutions it was sounding okay until this. I don't see why Paradox Forms would really be in this game. Uh, Cross-Gen Evolutions as well, like, maybe, because obviously we got them in Legends Arceus. Um, but yeah, Paradox Forms, I'm not... I don't know if that'll be in the game. I know it's, like, about time travel potentially and stuff like that, but... I really like this rumor. I really like the idea that you go back in time, you go forward in time. I like the idea that what you do in the past changes events, you know. I like the fact that we're getting forms for the starters, forms for the legendaries... Um, mega evolutions for the stars and 11 of the Pokemon as well, like cross-gen evolutions. I really like this rumor. I don't know if it's true or not, really. I think the Paradox forms, I just can't see that. I think that's just a Gen 9 thing. And I know we're still technically in Gen 9, but we're not in Scarlet and Violet with this game. So I personally don't think they're going to have them, but I really like this rumor. I really, really hope it is true. Uh, but either way, let me know your thoughts on the rumor. Do you think it's true or not? What are your thoughts on everything else that we covered today as well? Let me know your thoughts on this new raid event for Scarlet and Violet. What are your thoughts on the Switch 2 situation? Uh, and then also the Animal Crossing stuff. And then the other things that we've covered as well for Pokemon Legends EA. But anyway, that's going to be everything from me. If you enjoyed, like I say, drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.